Arizona is quickly becoming a national hotspot for coronavirus. Scientists are noticing a trend. More young adults are getting infected. Team 12's Michael Doudna spoke to one young man who's slowly recovering. Jimmy Flores says he didn't think he had to worry about the virus until he ended up in the hospital for more than a week. Since then, he's been able to recover, but he hopes his story may have others take the needed precautions to help slow the spread of this virus. I said that this is a green light to proceed, not a green light to speed. But with that green light, Arizonans hit the gas, filling up lakes and rivers, packing Scottsdale's clubs. And when, when we, we said we can go out, what well, do you think I did, man? I went out. But Jimmy Flores would learn the hard way when just two days after getting drinks at a Scottsdale bar, I woke up with a 103 fever, chills, and body sores. Over the next week, the 30-year-old would watch as he would lose his sense of taste and smell and go to the hospital struggling to breathe. I, my, my eyes opened up. I'm like looking on social media. I'm like, man, like, this is one of the worst sicknesses I ever had in my life. I don't think that people really know what the hell this is. Jimmy became one of the more than 70,000 Arizonans to come down with COVID-19. Dr. Andrew Carroll has seen his fair share with more and more cases coming from younger patients. A lot of them felt they were impervious to illness. But for the most part, the young people I've talked to have been miserable. They get sick um, and they just are, they're, they're, they're achy, they're tired. As cases in the younger population have skyrocketed, well, Scottsdale's entertainment district has now gone dark as the governor is urging caution as cases continue to rise. And we need to slow down. But Sunday, the Salt River was once again filled with people close together, even as hospital beds continue to fill up with COVID-19 patients. I mean, I can't judge them, but what if I was that person, right? But at the same time, like, we're in a crisis, so figure it out. But for the doctors on the front line, they're concerned about reaching the breaking point, which Arizona seems to be inching closer and closer towards. And if we don't do something about this, if we don't do the right thing, uh, we're about to become the next New York City. And um, that's not where we want to be. Michael Downa, 12 News.